painting the little seed pot by taking my paints and I've added a little bit of water to the purple. I'll add it to each of them as I go. Putting it, dabbing it on the pot, and then dripping some water with it. That way the color kind of runs down but gets lighter as it goes. The seed pot is, um, gosh, it's a little thicker, of course, but it's similar to coffee filter paper or watercolor paper. It just absorbs the paint in a really pretty way. I transfer out on to tissue paper by putting a piece of tissue paper on a piece of coffee paper and then I cut out um, my little bunny transfer and with Mod Podge just put it right on my seed pot. I added then a coat of Mod Podge to the rest of the seed pot just to give it a little bit of a little bit more strength when it dries it just hardens it just a tad and of course it keeps my image on. Cut the image close around the little bunny and the tissue paper pretty much disappears into the seed uh, pot. Alright, we'll let it dry and finish it off. Okay, now I'm going to show you um, how I did just this simple little made it a basket. Um, first of all, I hot glued on around the edge uh, some velvet ribbon and I've done that one here with this. Just hot glued it around the edge. And then I took this wire, which is 28 gauge. It's not very stiff. Um, it's what I had. You could use a stiffer wire, but I, this is all I had. So I'm tripling it to make it a little more sturdy. The size, I, I got it the size I wanted for my little handle and put three layers of wire, like I said, to make it sturdy. Now that I've got it in three, I'm going to just twist it together. Not a big deal. This will stay together without you going to too much trouble with the twisting, but um, this helps a little bit. Now, when it's kind of twisted together, I'm going to take my ribbon, wrap it around, kind of fold it under, making a little knot, and then I'm going to twist the ribbon around it. It goes pretty fast. You twist it, making the handle until you have your little handle for your basket. Uh, made, let's see, I made two holes in the side. I just used my needle nose pliers and made holes. And then kind of threaded my basket handle inside. Can you see that? And now I'm going to make just a little knot kind of by wadding up the wire so it won't pull back through. Take it over the top. and push it through on the other side. Make a knot, or really it's just a wad with your wire, to do the same thing. And you have a very sweet little basket handle here. All right, here they are. Um, each one of them just a little different than the other. I finished off one with some cute little flowers which would make a great arrangement or it would make a nice hostess gift. Um, this one a little more whimsical uh, maybe for a, your kids room or bathroom for decoration. Um, has some little Easter colored feathers and a little friend there. 
This one over here I finished off with my favorite thing, my little air plant buddies, and um, made the handle out of grapevine covered wire, heavy gauge wire, and then I wrapped some green, um, spring green twine around it, also a little twine around the top, but added moss and my little air plants, which is my air plants can go in a million places every different season, so I love them. And um, that would be a cute hostess gift too, or a party favor. I gave air plants at Easter last year for a party favor. It was fun. This one I just put Easter eggs in, and if you did a little one like this and put chocolate eggs, that would be a nice gift for somebody that you love for Easter. All right, so these are so much fun. These little seed pots, um, buy them now while they've got them out in all the stores. They're really cheap, and you can do so much with them. I'll be doing some more stuff with them um, a little later in the spring or early summer. So that's all for now, guys. Until next time, sending love from me to you. Bye-bye.